He may be widely tipped as a future Grand Tour superstar, but Naido Quintana certainly isn't one to brag about his talents. Beneath the quiet, unassuming exterior is a rider clearly relishing the pursuit of lofty ambitions, comfortable with the weight of expectation upon his young shoulders. I don't see it as pressure. I see it as motivation, something to be enjoyed and that can motivate me. It's all giving me positive mental energy. It helps to push me forward, to commit myself, and eventually will help me to fight for my goals. A 24-year-old is spearheading Movistar's Giro Challenge in only his third Grand Tour, his first as designated team leader. Finishing runner-up to Chris Froome in last year's Tour de France and sealing the best young rider's white jersey has fast-tracked his career. With that Tour white jersey came the polka dots of the best climber, the high mountains of the Giro being Quintana's favourite terrain. I like the Zonkerland stage because it's a very demanding climb after 20 days of racing. It's not easy there at all. It's a challenge and it will be interesting to see how my body copes after so much effort before it. Of course, that's just where Quintana's sub-60 kilo body should play to his advantage. If you see Nairo Quintana physically, you say like, come on, this guy is not going to beat me for an European. Come on, the European guys or North American guys are huge, they are strong, so tiny, so so skinny. But come on, when this guy start to, 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 to start a race, you know, to start accelerating on the race, they become like a, like a roadrunner over there in the mountains. Quintana's slight frame belies the damage he can inflict on the climbs. This and the fact that he graduated from the same Colombian national setup as the great Lucho Herrera and Fabio Parra, harking back to the days of his nation's biggest achievements on the road. Colombian climbers do have a history, but I'm not sure whether people believe in me because of that. The fact is that I've shown what I can do in the past. I'm strong in the mountains, the route suits me, and so they have me as favourite. Quintana certainly won't be alone in flying the flag for Colombia at the Giro. Rigoberto Uran of Omega Pharma Quickstep, last year's runner-up in the Corsa Rosa, will mount his own challenge, not forgetting the many other Colombians in the race. There are 14 of them, so each day, in each part of the race, we are going to find one because they are so like a warriors over there. They like to be on the front, they like to be in the first part of the mountain stages. We are going always to find a Colombian. They are so, so strong, good warriors on, on the road. That said, there's a sense not only from Quintana, but others too, that Colombian riders have had to work harder than most to earn respect in a previously hostile environment. There were some reservations within the peloton. For a while they looked at us differently. And when we started winning, things started to change. They could see that we were good at what we did. We had mastered the bike. And we weren't clumsy like they thought before. And they started to respect us a whole lot more. Another part of Quintana's learning curve will, of course, be the Tour de France. Despite his superb showing in 2013, he deferred to teammate Alejandro Valverde this year, concentrating solely on the Giro. Outwardly, at least, he's in no rush. I have to gain some experience and maturity and make sure that I feel that I am a complete rider. But I can say I'm on the right path. It might take two years or even three. I really don't know. Giving Quintana strength when the road reaches for the heavens, it would seem foolish to bet against him at the Giro. Of course, he needs to reach the final week in one piece, something that's not a foregone conclusion in a race that's already left other riders' hopes as well as bodies in tatters.